Okay, this video right here is going to be about a all power. It's model RX2500. It does come with a manual, so any questions y'all ha have about it, it'll be completely answered. It's a real nice manual. It gives you all the settings, all the different things, the inputs it has and everything. But I'm going to give you all a rough brief run through of the, um, of the power station. I'm going to get my big big body out of the way and I'm going to do a close up of it and I'm going to go through each section. Cool thing about these here, they got dust covers on them. I've never seen that before on a um, power pack but 2500 all power. Let me get closer and give y'all a close up of it. Okay I wanted to give y'all a real good shot of the, the face of this. Right over here you got your USB A Right here you got your USB-C, over here you got your DC right there, and this is your 110 amp right there, okay. On the face, of course, you got the amount of power in the um, power station, you got the amount going in, you got the amount going out. Down here, you got four receptacles to do health current, one, two, three, four. Right here, I've never seen this before, but that's a plug-in where you could plug your camper into the trailer. It wouldn't run the AC, but it would run everything else, but like I said, I've never seen that before. And another thing, these dust covers are a super good idea. They really are. They'll save a lot of wear and tear of dust getting in there or sand or whatever, but yeah, there you go. That's a real good shot of the front of it. And it's not too heavy. It's probably about, I'd say, 40 pounds. Okay, now I'm going to take you over to the side and show you some other features on it. Hopefully y'all can see that. I know it's kind of at a funny angle, but all you do is press right there and poof, that opens up right there. And you got your plug-in for your solar panels right here. And these plug-ins right here, they are called XT60s. I've really never seen them before, but that's what they are because I did a little bit of research on them. And then over here, of course, you got your AC, your shore power, and then right there you got your fuse. But I just thought it was a real nice way that door just closes just like that. Pretty cool. I've never seen nothing like that before. Okay, now over here on this side, it's just like the other side. It pops up, and I guess if you want to run power to different things or hook two packs together, you can do it. But those are plugs. I just think these covers are really cool because they'll save a lot of damage being done to your power pack so let's go back to the front of it and I'll show you what this thing will run okay right now I'm running my phone my phone and this is my Bluetooth right here and we're pulling out 23 watts I don't have anything going in but 23 watts and let me get a skillet out here let's see if it'll run that too okay I got my skillet plugged in right here an AC shore power. Let's cut it on. Let's see what kind of wide she starts pulling. The only thing I don't like about this power pack, the screen doesn't stay lit up all the time. You got to keep on pushing the button. But here we go. Let's see what she does. Cut her on right here. There she goes. That, that electric skillet is 784 watts it's pulling right now. That's usually what I cook on, and I usually my coffee maker pulls about 550, but as you can see right there, 782, no problem, pulling away. Cook me a hamburger or whatever I want to cook for the evening, but there you go. Okay, let's go to the solar panels and check them out. Okay, each one of these solar panels is 100 watts. So what you do, you pair them together, and they're, they are very flexible, as y'all can see. You could hang them on the side of a camper, or I got them laying flat because, uh, you know, it's the only thing I can do with them. You know, I didn't want to hang them on the side of my camper. But So if you take 100 and another 100, that's 200 watts of power. And what you do is you put them together like so, and all this stuff, See right there, I got this solar panel, the uh, positive and negative going into one and positive and negative going into two. 
and that way they're paired together so basically what you could do you'll get um 200 watts out of the system and it goes into that one cord which goes to the end right there which you plug into the power pack and then let's see what kind of juice we're getting what you do if you wanted to put extensions on it all you do see where it plugs in right there you just plug your extension in say you want a, a 30 foot extension plug one in there plug one into there and you'd have to do one on each panel to see how the panels are but anyway that's how you put extensions on there so that would work real good that wouldn't be no issue here we are back on the side let me grab the cord right here let's pop her up right here let's plug her in okay she's plugged in right there let's go around front and see what kind of wattage we're getting I can't seem to get any real good sunlight here so I can't be honest about what kind of power is going into the power pack but I got them tilted like that and um uh, yeah 200 watt solar panels I mean they're nice I mean they're flexible you can point them in any direction it just I can't get no sun out here because I'm in the forest so yeah that is what it is and like I said they're very flexible I mean you can bend you can't roll them or anything but they're pretty flexible and they also come with a brief manual on how you use them but anyway that's gonna be my video on the um all power 2500 hopefully y'all will get a little bit of information out of it and uh give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you down the road in the next one have a great one